Hello guys, Sorin Constantin here. Welcome to our next uh, lecture, to our next tool for uh, social media images uh, creation. And uh, uh, this tool, it's actually exactly that, la like the last two ones that you have seen. It's a tool that uh, you can use mostly for your own images, for your own photos, to enhance them, uh, to, to make them better, to resize them to a certain size that uh, will fit your social media accounts. Uh, this one it's uh, actually a more complex tool that, than you have seen before because it also has some templates, some very nice effects. It has uh, more features than the one that you have seen. Also you don't need to create any account whatsoever. You can access it whenever you want from wherever you want. You just need your laptop, a PC and internet connection. Okay. Uh, and you're ready to go, you're ready to create your uh, your images. And actually this uh, this tool has three options. Uh, it's called the website, it's called bfunky.com as you can see here in my uh, web browser. Okay, so the tool actually it's called bfunky and you have three options uh, that you can choose from to work with uh, bfunky. You have the photo editor, you have the collage, the collage maker and you have the designer. And I will show you step by step exactly what you can do with uh, each of them. We will go first, we will uh, enter the photo editor and you will see exactly how you can use it. Then we will have a look at the collage maker. And after that, finally, we will take a look at the designer option too. So let's dive in the information and let's go to the photo editor. You just click on the button. You will wait for, uh, for, the, for the app to, to load. And now you have more options to upload a photo from your computer, okay, or to test and use one of their photos right here. And for the sake of this example, I will use one of their photos. For example, I will use this lady in the middle because it's a more suited, uh, it's a more suited photo for a profile photo, for example, if you want to use it for your LinkedIn profile or uh, for your Facebook profile. Uh, I'm not saying that you should use uh, this lady's photo, but uh, I'm saying that this is how a photo should look like, okay, for your profile or for your LinkedIn. For example, it's called Facebook, okay, it, the, it's called Facebook because people need to see your face. And this is a typical, uh, f very good profile photo for Facebook as an example, because this lady is looking right at the camera, she's smiling, and we can see very, very well her face. So let's take this one as an example. You just choose the photo and you will see that uh, this tool has a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of options that you can use. You can play with, for example, if we go to the layer manager, you can add more layers to a photo exactly like in a professional, uh, editor that you install on your computer. For example, like, uh, like Adobe Photoshop or something like that, uh, you can add more layers to, to an image. And this is the place where you can add layers. Okay, you can take a layer forward, you can take a layer backwards and so on. Uh, for example, if I press the button add a layer, I can add, add another image on top of this one. Okay, so I can have this image right here. And for example, we can actually choose a color overlay if we want to for the image. It has a certain opacity and also we can, uh, we can select the opacity of this image okay of this new layer that we have created so we can see through it so it has trans transparency so we can see through it the, the image behind for example we can set its opacity from here and as you can see when you set the opacity higher okay for example at 100 percent you see only that image in that spot where it is if you set the opacity lower it will have transparency this is very cool if you want to do different effects, okay? Now, let's have a look at other options that uh, that bfunky.com has. For example, in the edit section, you have the crop, okay? You can practically crop your image. You can select for portrait, okay, for landscape. You can select a certain aspect ratio from the one that they have. For example, the golden ratio, okay? Uh, you can lock the aspect ratio, so when you resize it, uh, your width and your height will be the same as for the original photo. Okay. And uh, this one, it's an option that you can use. Okay. The crop image uh, option. Okay. Another, another option that you can use is the resize image here. Okay. Also, you can lock the aspect ratio and 
then you can rotate if you want to, you can cut out background. You can select a, a background, for example, a paint, okay. Uh, then you can select the exposure, for example, you can tweak the brightness of the photo, as you can see right now, okay, you can make it look darker, you can make it look brighter, okay, you can then play with the contrast, for example, you can have a more, for myself, in my personal opinion, uh, photos that have a higher contrast look more vivid, they have more vivid colors and they inspire you more, okay, but that's my personal opinion. You can play with that, see exactly how it works, but for a profile picture I would recommend that uh, that your uh, your profile photo has a very good contrast, okay. You can make different highlights, okay, play with the highlights, with the shadows, okay, you can fill in with light, so you have a lot a lot of options that you can you can use as you can see this this uh, small app this be funky it's actually full of cool features that you can use okay i will go out of exposure now you have the beautify section okay this will play with your skin for example with the skin of the person will it will identify the skin and will play with that uh, uh, with that area of the photo that uh, that you have okay this is an option maybe some of you guys have seen it there are certain smartphones for example like the ones from Huawei okay or uh, most of the time smartphones that have Android on them they have this option for their performance cameras okay it's a beautify that's how it's called okay then we have the color for example uh, you can choose the color okay in the photo the saturation the temperature you can play with all of this stuff to enhance your image after that we have the sharpen okay the sharpen effect to create a more crisp and clear image as you can see here okay you have more detail okay the detail it's much better seen when uh, you use the sharpen uh, effect and also you have the vignette effect which creates uh, a more studio effect if you want to say so for a photo okay it, uh, it has like a more professional touch and it depends how you use it but it, it can be very very helpful and uh, it can give uh, a very professional look to a photo for example now let's have a look into the blur and smooth area you have also the smoothing effect and this is how the smoothing effect looks like okay it makes uh, it makes your photo uh, like it, it has like a tent of, of, a, of a blurry shade but it's not actually a blurry okay uh, you also have the blur effect that it makes e everything more unclear uh, then we have the funky focus which obviously in my opinion also creates a very professional effect uh, if I if I were, were to choose something uh, from these effects to add to my profile photo uh, especially if I don't have a white background in my back, I would choose a blur, uh, a funky focus blur effect. You understand? It has a more, much more professional look. And you can select the area, okay? For example, here, that's how it should, uh, it should look like. Okay, you, we have like a more, more professional touch. Okay, uh, when you have everything, when you have the subject okay very focused and the background it's more detached and blurry okay uh, your attention as a viewer will go directly to to the focus where the focus is so this will drive people's attention to you okay and not to the background when you are using a white uh, screen background it's no problem because you are the only thing that they will see but when you are in a different context uh, a blurred okay a blurred background a detached background um, will help you get the attention of uh, your viewers. So this is a very interesting effect, okay? You also have so the softening effect, the blurred edges, and you have different other effects, but I will let you play with each and any of these effects and see exactly how they work, okay? I won't go into any more details. Now we have the touch-up, okay? For the touch-up, for example, if you have, uh, that's why I, I've, chosen, I, I've chosen this photo because you can use for example different effects that you can apply to your skin for example uh, the wrinkles okay it will eliminate wrinkles from a photo if it detects them uh, then we have the blemish okay which adds different types of effects we have the bronzer this one it's absolutely awesome okay uh, this is how it will look like okay you just add the bronzer 
I don't know if you guys can see in the example, but you can add the bronze or okay on a certain surface. And for example, you can play with the strength. And as you, if you have a look here, okay, in this area, it looks like uh, this person eats stand. Okay, it was at a at a tanner shop or something like that. Okay, you can uh, adjust the brush size, the brush hardness. Okay, you have different types of colors for the bronzer. So this is a very cool effect also. As you can see, you can do a lot, a lot of things with uh, with the effects that uh, that B Funky has. Uh, you also have the flash spot. Okay. Uh, we also have the clone mascara eye color. So most of this, most of this, uh, this photo here in the touch-up section are for profile photos uh, dedicated. Okay, why? Because it will enhance your uh, your profile photo. Okay, your portrait photo. Let's say so. Okay, you can add different effects uh, to your photo to look much much better in your photos. Okay. Uh, I know everybody for sure will use this one to create awesome profile photos because it can actually work very well. Let's see what other effects we have. We have different types of effects here. Okay, we have the featured effect. For example, uh, we can use something like this. Okay, uh, we can use something like this, thin types. Okay, we have chromatic effects. When we can use different types of, of effects, as you can see here in the preview section okay we, you can see exactly what you get from your image if you apply any of the effect here we have uh, black and white effects okay different types of black and white and variations the grunge effect uh, Holga art for example okay this one is very interesting so we have different different things that you can use with uh, with be funky then we have the the artsy effects okay uh, we have frames that you can add for example you can add a frame like this okay this can be something very very cool if you want to to add to your photo and this can be more helpful i will let you guys play with this but i just wanted to show you an example then you have different graphics that you can add uh, for example let's have a look here you can add something like this to your photo okay you can resize it okay put it somewhere like like here okay you can add different different types of uh, of graphics that you have here as you can see you have different types of uh, of graphics that you can add you can select from a very a uh, very uh, big collection of graphics okay you can add your own graphics icons i will show you further in this course how to find very good icons and graphics that you can use for your photos then you have different types of overlays that you can use for example the holidays okay overlays uh, then you can add different types of, of text for example my favorite one is this one lucky okay you also get these messages these are very cool tips that you can use for your images okay uh, from from be funky okay got it for example you can add this text which actually is very cool just double click on it to edit it okay so this is a very cool cool function you can add different types of text to your images and then you have different textures light trails is my favorite one and let us have a look at it for example you can add something like this to your photo as you can see here in this part so you can add very very cool stuff with uh, with be funky to your photos okay so that was all guys i wanted to show you uh, a little bit how this works exactly okay how be funky works it's actually a very very good software that you can use okay as you can see it has a ton a ton of features i don't think that if you stay a week on this uh, on this app you you won't have the time to actually test everything that you can test and work on all the features and the best part is that you have this free version that works very well okay you can absolutely use most of their features also you have another uh, okay another pro version when you where you have a, uh, some more effects that you can use but that it's up to you if you want to use it or not uh, i think that the, the free section offers you the best that it, it can in the next lecture we will focus on the collage on the collage maker i will show you exactly how to use that too because it's actually very very simple it's much more simpler than the photo editor that you have seen and after that we'll take a look into the uh, into the designer section of uh, be funky uh, thank you guys for your attention you know already you are awesome i wish you all the best and i will see you in our next lecture so in here bye bye